you are aspiring to get your Maryland real estate license, or better yet, you might already have one. This is a video for you that is going to summarize the public meeting from the Maryland Real Estate Commission that is offered on the third Wednesday of every month. The meeting notes are going to be posted next month. Please check their website to confirm all the details shared. I have been attending the Maryland Real Estate Commission meetings for quite some time right now. I have been sharing what I hear in my classes, but maybe we, you and I are not going to meet anytime soon. So I decided, let me share. Let me know what you think about this particular summary and hopefully I will work on presenting anytime I attend the meetings. Keep in mind, you are able to attend these meetings. They happen every third Wednesday of every month at 1030 Eastern. You can attend by going to Google Meet and attend to see the people who are speaking. If that's not possible, there is a number on their website, the Realistic Commission website, that you are able to call in and listen in. Yes, it is public. You do not need to have a Maryland real estate license. If you already have one, I strongly suggest that you attend them. Here are the highlights. Whatever I am sharing is what I heard. You will have the opportunity to read the minutes the next month when they are posted on their website. The conversation of Radon has been happening for a while and what they are proposing is borrowing from what we already have in Montgomery County. This is I think one of the only jurisdictions that requires some form of radon test to be conducted whether it's by the seller or the buyer. The realistic commission is going to borrow from that and they are working to make it mandatory for any residential property transfer in terms of the details. Is it when a real estate licensee is involved or not? It doesn't matter. And also there's conversation of on the rental side. I'm sure we shall see soon how often that will be required. This conversation needs to go through the legislative process. So if this is going to translate to law. We're not going to see it until sometime next year, 2024. The other highlight is for those of us who are going to be getting their real estate license, more so for you because this is not a requirement right now, but it will be a requirement soon to anyone who's applying to get their real estate license. We don't know when, I don't know whether it needs to go legislative process. I assume so, but they're not looking for it to come in 2024. This still needs some massaging a little bit. So this is going to be where anyone getting their real estate license is going to be required to take both a background and fingerprinting checking. And they also is going to translate to us who already have a real estate license, this is going to be part of our renewal process in addition to completing the continuing education credits. The executive director will usually share the numbers. These numbers are usually interesting to me because it tends to show how many of us have a Maryland real estate license. The numbers are, 49,083 of us total have a Maryland real estate license. The breakdown in terms of the two categories, whatever is at the top, is individuals who have a Maryland real estate license and that's it. Reciprocal is the ind are the individuals who already have a license elsewhere in another state. And now Maryland is tacked on to their list of different licenses that they have. And then you have the breakdown of the brokers, the associate brokers such as myself, who have completed the broker hours, 
went and passed the exam, but not ready to start my own brokerage. So I have an associate broker license for that. And then salesperson is the entry point to get your real estate license. They also do a good job of showing us how it looked like the previous months. The style of the meetings is where the chairperson will usually present information and then different tasks or no, not tasks. Uh, different committees, I guess, will share. You will hear from the legislative side. You will hear from education. And then you will hear from the executive director. So here's where Michael Kasnick, the executive director, does present this information on a monthly basis. This month, on August the 16th, the conversation from the executive director was on these two major things. Again, this was not introduction to it at the August the 16th meeting. It's stuff that has been happening here. The conversation that happened on the 16th is these two topics. And if I dig deeper into the conversation of continuing education is where it was brought forth that as of August the 17th, 2023, if you're going to renew your Maryland real estate license, and you do not have your minimum required continuing education credits, which are 15 hours for your two-year cycle, you will not be able to renew your license. Keep in mind, to be fair, we have two years. It's only 15 hours. There are four mandatory topics, legislative updates, fair housing, code of ethics, and brokerage relationship and disclosures. And then we have the opportunity of electives, whatever other topics are of interest to you. So if you don't have the complete minimum, you will not be able to renew your license. The other continued conversation was about the fees. So fees is where we're talking about to get your, new, your real estate license, to renew it, to change your location in terms of your brokerage or location, name change and so forth. There are those fees that are charged and there's a proposal to increase those fees. Now, what I don't know, and I guess you'll read it in the minutes, is this something that is passed right away or does it have to go through the legislative process? Someone will let me know in the comments, please. However, this is something that to those of us who already have a real estate license or for those of us who are looking to get one, something in the future to look out for. During the public session meeting here is the commissioners and the executive director will present and then they will have a spot for the public to contribute. Usually Maryland Realtors will have a representative to share. They are the largest real estate organization or association in our state. What that means is that from the 49,000, about 30,000 of us are members of Maryland Realtors. So they do have an opportunity to share what it is that they are seeing from their side. Disclaimer, this is conversation. So you will see it in the minutes and then you will follow up and track in terms of whether this happens or not. The three highlights for me that stood out are the conversation of, you know what, let's deal with this continuing education uh, conversation to where some of us, again, it's not bad, it's not wrong for an individual to wait until the last day to take their continuing education classes. Nothing wrong with that. It's just some of us are probably cringing right now in terms of somebody doing that. So the Maryland realtors are proposing that they might look into having a law that says, Brenda, you need to renew your real estate license at least three, 30 days before the expiration. What happens for those of us who are going to be renewing it within that 30-day window? Who knows? I'm sure if this moves forward, we're going to see the details soon. They're going to be picking up the conversation of wholesaling that was introduced in this current legislation session. It did not go through. 
So Maryland Realtors is going to pick that up and see, again, where we shall be in 2024. Another one that is my favorite, that this one I'm really going to follow up and see where we end up. When it comes to policing each other or our industry, one of the entities that is going to police us is the Realistic Commission. As a government entity, the steps for you to make a complaint is that you go to their website, fill out everything, provide your evidence, and then from there, will it be investigated or not? So the process to some of us might take a long time. In today's age, where we have the uses of technology, sometimes things are moving too quickly. And therefore, to make it a little bit easier for us to police each other, especially when it comes to following the advertising guidelines, which to be fair, maybe you the public don't know the details, but we do, a way for us to be able to pass on those complaints anonymously to the Realistic Commission is something that Maryland Realtors are looking into. So stay tuned on that. I hope you found this helpful to you. Share with me. Let me know what your thoughts are. And I will see whether I will continue doing this on a monthly basis when I am able to attend their meetings. If you haven't subscribed yet, you're looking to pass your Maryland real estate license, definitely subscribe. I will see you next time.